but there remained unbelievers, and one of them was my own son, Alma, along with the sons of Mosiah. <laughs> my brothers, Alma has led more people away and persuaded many to be as he is, idolatrous and wicked. She has such a great way with words of flattery and influence, leading many astray from that which is supposedly good. It is more enjoyable and amusing to do as he is doing. And we shall continue helping him to destroy the church of God. The ways of our fathers are boring and old-fashioned. We shall! Let us follow his ways, stealing the hearts of the people, causing dissensions, giving Satan more power and dominion over them. For it is more fun to rebel and to persuade others to rebel and help our friend Alma in his cause. We do not have to follow any rules or commandments. Wherefore, these secret plans to lead others astray and destroy the church cause me much pain and sorrow to see my own son choosing evil over good. I had to rely on the Lord in fervent prayer and constant faith on behalf of my own son that perhaps somehow the Lord would bring him back to the knowledge of the truth. As they were going about rebelling against the Lord and even against my commands, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared unto them and he descended as if it were in a cloud and he spake as it were with a voice of thunder which caused the earth to shake upon which they stood Alma arise and stand forth for why persecutest thou the church of God for the Lord hath said, This is my church, and nothing, nothing shall overthrow it. Behold, the Lord hath heard the prayers of his people, and of thy father Alma, that thou mightest be brought to the knowledge of the truth. Therefore, for this purpose have I come. And now I say unto thee, Alma, Go thy way, and seek no more to destroy the church. And many assembled together for two days and nights they did fast and pray to the Lord that he would open the mouth of Alma and that he might receive back his strength behold Alma received back his strength he stood up and began to speak to them bidding them to be of good comfort I am Alma I have repented of my sins and have been redeemed of the Lord. Behold, I am born of the Spirit and have become a new creature. And I bear testimony that unless ye do this and become changed from a worldly state unto a state of righteousness, ye cannot inherit the kingdom of God, but be cast off instead. This I know, for I myself was to be cast off. But the Lord in his mercy saw fit to snatch me up out of an everlasting burning. I was in the darkest abyss. 
filled with bitterness and iniquity. I rejected my Redeemer and denied his truths, and my soul is pained no more. And I shall find joy in bringing men unto him, that they too may feel his love and mercy. We too shall travel forth and share his gospel. We shall, for we have seen and we know the things of God. There is no denying the light of our Savior and his love. And my sons did ask of me if they could go unto the Lamanites in the land of Nephi. And I did pray unto the Lord on behalf of their safety. The Lord told me they would be delivered, so I granted unto them that they could go and preach the word among the Lamanites. But behold, my people worried about the future of the land, since I had no successors ready and willing to rule here. While my sons were abroad preaching among the Lamanites, I prayed for guidance on what to do. The Lord helped me to conclude that we should have a group of righteous judges to rule and reign over the people instead. And so began the reign of the judges over the people of Nephi. 